When you dress well, come into the house of God, you are celebrating His kindness. Stop keeping the best clothes for Christmas. See, and especially when you come to church Sunday morning, you know, um, from the weekend into, into Sunday, there's a lot of people who don't dress well. On, on Sundays when you're coming to church, dress fine. I talked about that in the convention in Benin City. The next day you should see them. They were so well dressed. Some of them hadn't worn suits or complete natives for a long time. They put them on and came to church. Listen, when you're coming to the house of God, dress fine. Some people think that that's where you shouldn't dress well. They're wrong. When you dress well coming to the house of God, you are celebrating His kindness. Stop keeping the best clothes for Christmas. Many of us were brought up wrong. You see, many of us were brought up wrong. We were brought up with our clothes in the box waiting for Christmas time. And many of you are still doing that today. Some of you women have clothes you have not worn for five years. You are waiting for a special occasion. And when the special occasion comes, you make another choice. Will you give that cloth out? No. Mm. You know how much? Mm. <laughs> I know some of you must have, because I know my, my parents used to have there, you know, years ago. And guess what? When we were setting up our home, we were about to do the same thing. Until I said, mm -mm, I'm not going to do this. I said to my wife, when are we going to know when them special visitors come? You know, they have these special plates and special cutleries and special everything, you know. And they are kept for special visitors. Go and bring them out. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because if you don't bring them out, you're going to have them until the rapture. Yeah. But if you bring them out, God will replace them for you with better ones. Look at those old clothes you got. You know, they're so expensive now. They're smelling with camphor at the bottom of the box. You won't bring them out. Go and bring them out. Start wearing them. When you wear them, listen. Do you know... Good things come to people who believe in good things. That's number one. Two, good things come to people who stand up good. I'll explain that to you. I don't even know. Sometimes I speak English. I'm wondering... My dad understands a lot of English, and sometimes he says, I don't understand your English. Okay, what do I mean by that? When you, when you dress nicely, and talk right, and act right, good things will come to you. You don't know who's looking for somebody. You don't know. As someone is looking for you. He's looking for you. But you know, you're not dressed like the one he's expecting. Dress nicely all the time. Dress neatly all the time. Are you hearing me? Never come among people looking, flying your shirt, you know. And you, it doesn't matter whether it's a coat, but wear it right.
little dress right. Praise the Lord. Are you still here? Dress right. Praise the Lord. Dress right. Let me show you another thing that, that destroys why I'm at it. Just um, come. I want to show you something. Now, I'm going to change your dress in a bit. You're looking smart. But let me change his dress in a bit. I, I want you to notice something. Never let your collar be like this. Did you see that? You understand? You know, some of you don't care. You just, you're wearing, and you just keep going. Then you. He's asking me, was it like that? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you come in the church, dress well. Take your best clothes. Wear them to church and worship Him. If you cannot come to the house of God in your best clothes to worship God, where are you going to wear them? See, a lot of us were, were, were deceived into thinking, oh, when you come into church, don't wear something nice. Must you be proud? Or do you want to show that you're something in the house? No, we are not wearing it for somebody else. We're wearing it to celebrate our heavenly Savior, Jesus Christ. Dress well. It's a testimony of what God is doing in your life. And then you will see more. I'm watching out for you Sunday. 